Hey toy fans, D21Beast here, back with another figure review for you guys here on Force Friday, at least as I'm recording, and I've got the Boba Fett Hero Master released by Hasbro. Now I think we can all agree that Boba Fett is one of the coolest characters to come out of Star Wars canon, and this figure looks sweet enough for a Sarlacc pit to eat. So let's say we get things started by taking a look at the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of this box, you do have that Star Wars logo in the upright and the figure's name off to the side. You've got a window box packaging that does have this Boba Fett figure inside as well as his mini accessories. You've got an image of a masked up Star Wars character on the left and then finally you have the name for this toy line, Hero Mashers, there towards the bottom. Then as we flip this package around, you do have that Hero Mashers logo at the top. You've got a masked up Boba Fett figure pictured there on the back. Then off to the right hand side, you do have a lineup of many of the figures currently available in this wave. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's see if we get this connoisseur of Carbonite out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, so here we have Boba Fett out of the packaging and this master figure is absolutely incredible. He's got awesome paint applications and his accessories are a lot of fun. Really, first impression of this figure is very, very positive. This is one you guys are going to definitely want to check out. Now, looking at Boba Fett up close, you can see that he does have paint all over that head sculpt, which I think looks great. They even put the dent in the forehead, which I really like. But then we have the yellow paint here on the side. Got the red paint and the dark green paint on the run on the face mask. The uh, shield here is black. Uh, yellow on the side here, silver here. I mean, they really just went all out. We've got his emblem here. It's a little bit larger than normal on the uh, pectoral of the figure, uh, but then they've got a nice sort of cream colored paint with the uh, green paint on top of it. We've got the yellow shoulder pads and the yellow knee pads, and of course the Mandalorian skull here. We've got that sort of maroon paint for the gauntlets, and then coming down, we've just got the sculpted pockets on the outfit and the way that the uh, boots look. I mean, everything on this figure is, looks pretty movie accurate. Uh, we do have this accessory back here, the rocket pack with the uh, the cape sort of coming over the shoulder. It's a solid green. Now, that's not necessarily screen accurate, but I think they did a great job considering the rest of the figure. Also, there's a nice touch here. The rope that a lot of times gets missed on Boba Fett figures is actually sculpted on this figure. That's not on his shoulder, but it is coming down the side of the figure, and they've even painted that. And then the belt is painted. There's just so much to love about the painting on this figure and the sculpting overall. I'm very happy. Then we come to the accessories for this figure, and as I mentioned previously, Boba Fett does have his rocket pack with the cape coming off. Now, there's two pegs on the back of this, and it does plug into the back of the figure right here on the holes for the back. Now, you could put this on the arm or put this on the leg if you wanted to in those nodules, but obviously it's meant for the back and it looks best on the back. And then Boba Fett has this nice flame effect. Now, it's got a little bit of a flame flower uh, end here. It plugs into the side of his arm or really anywhere you want to put it. It's got a nice translucent orange flame. Now, my only complaint about this item is that it is hollowed out. And I think for as small and narrow as this flame piece is, they really probably could have just made that a solid piece. As it stands now, uh, the way you position it sometimes, depending on how you have it angled, it's going to show that hollowed out flame section. I wish they would have done that a little bit differently, but it does look like a cool piece when you have it positioned properly. And then Boba Fett's also got this grappling hook piece. Now, Star Wars fans, I know, Boba Fett's accessories and his, his weaponry is all in the gauntlet on his left arm. But since we have a masher figure here and we can go ahead and do this, let's go ahead and attach the grappling hook here to his other arm. And you can see here, just a nice hook and we'll put it on the forearm, and then there's even this string here, and if you guys haven't figured it out yet already, uh, this string is actually retractable, so you can pull on it here, and it will actually allow you to extend the claw and drop the claw if you want to. So you could actually clamp that around a masher figure body, and then pull the claw up and down and get a little bit of play action out of that. So great uh, use of accessories there. I personally am probably not gonna do a lot with that claw aside from posing it on my Boba Fett, but if you pick this up as a toy to play with, a lot of options await you as far as playability goes. This is really just a fantastic figure. Now let's talk about articulation. Boba Fett does have a head that'll bend down that far and back that far and rotate all the way around. He's got a full rotation here at the shoulder. Again, we're missing those hinge joints that we used to have on Master figures, and I wish Hasbro would bring them back. We have a full rotation here at the elbow, a hinge to move forward and backward. No finger or wrist articulation, no waist articulation, a hip joint that'll bend forward, that far, bend back that far. It's a little tight on my new figure. It will bend out from the body that far. He's got a full rotation here at the knee as well as a joint that'll bend forward that far and back that far. And again, no ankle pivot. That is a very disturbing change that we've seen with the Master figures this year and I think Hasbro's committed to it. You probably don't want to be expecting any ankle articulation on any new Master figure moving forward. All right, toy fans, so if you're watching this review and you're not familiar with Mashers or what they're all about, they are a toy line that allows you to separate your figure at the head joint, the elbow joint, the hip joint, and the knee joint, and mix them with other Master figures currently available. So let's bring in Starscream and Wolverine from the Transformers Mashers and the Marvel Superhero Mashers line. And after a quick edit, you can see that you can create some pretty interesting looking Transformers, villains, superheroes, Jedi, whatever your hearts desire. And of course, the more figures you have from the line, the more options you're going to have to mix and match and create your own custom Transformer, Superhero, or even Bounty Hunter. Height-wise, we can see that this Boba Fett Master does stand just a little bit over five and a half inches tall, not near six inches. Interesting to note that this Master figure is probably the shortest one I've collected so far. For some size comparison, here he is compared to the Darth Vader Master figure that I recently reviewed. 
And I've got to take a moment to point out that these Star Wars Masher figures do seem shorter overall when compared to previously released Masher figures. Here we have Boba Fett compared to Masher's Starscream and Masher's Wolverine. Now I'm going to assume that Star Wars Mashers at large are going to be roughly the same scale as this Boba Fett figure, but it'll be interesting to see if Hasbro chooses to shrink the size of Transformers Mashers and Marvel Super Hero Mashers moving forward. And finally, here he is compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Her, aren't you a little short for a bounty hunter, bub? <coughs> this one has jokes. <coughs> oh, not the phrase, not the phrase! Ha, <coughs> I'm just kidding, bub, I got a healing factor. Nice try, though. <coughs> hey, Darth. <coughs> huh, something's happening. <coughs> 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 Just takes a minute. I'll be fine. Alright, Toy Fans, well, that's my review of the Star Wars Hero Masher Boba Fett figure released by Hasbro in 2015. Overall, while the scale and articulation are certainly detractors on this figure, they are relatively minor when you compare it to the accessories, the paintwork, and the sculpting that you are getting with this Boba Fett figure. He really is fantastic. If you're a fan of Master figures, this is a must-buy for you. And if you're a fan of Star Wars figures, even if you don't collect Masters at all, this is still a really fun Boba Fett figure that you probably want to go ahead and add to your collection. Definitely check him out. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.